Hello beautiful Cancer friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. We're here for a new love reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus general reading. Look at this, go to the sea. You are on a spiritual journey of looking into your emotions. Many of you may find yourself alone at this time. Uh, really doing some deep examining of what it is that you want, what it is that you treasure, and what it is that you may take action on in the near future in love. Let's see what else we have. Happy, happy, nice energy. You are moving towards a very happy, serene, joyful time in your life. And let's see what we have. We have round and round. Okay, so there is something that has been spiraling in your life, something that you haven't been able to figure out, an answer that you're searching for with an inner truth. So there's something that is bothering you, but you know, you're going to work it out. So let's look and see. We're using the light series now, and let's see what we have here for your overall energy in this reading. Let's see, we have Five of Cups, Feeling Sad, Scorpio Energy, something about an ending. You are searching for answers within, a spiritual journey with the Hermit card, looking for answers. And it looks as though it might have been about a particular person or situation in which there was a lot of passion, but a lot of in and out energy, not a, a level of stability. Cancer is known for loving stability in their relationships. We do have that beautiful energy. There's your king of cups for you. So let's look, Cancer. We have, oh, nice. What a great way to start a reading. Tiki, torches, starry nights, your ship has arrived in the harbor. So what we're seeing here is this happy, happy card um, manifesting in this reading for you. Cancer, there you are, <laughs> the Queen of Cups. We saw that King of Cups, remember, right here? So, ooh, you've got great energy for a matchup. Cancerian energy is all about hearth and home and nurturing and taking care of the babies and the plants and the dogs and the home. And it's a very emotional, tender-hearted energy that you're bringing to the table, Cancer. Nurturing energy. The star card. Hopes and dreams for love coming true after a period of healing. We have this beautiful energy. You're very enlightened. You've had time to think about something that you've you've meditated on, an answer that you've searched for, is coming forward now at this time for you. Aquarius energy. It is, Aquarius energy is very stable energy. It's the search for answers and finding the inner light and the inner answers to the problem that we, that that you have had earlier trying to figure out something that that hurt you what happened why did it happen and healing that energy the nine of pentacles you are looking fabulous if you've been at the gym working out it shows you are master of your life right now mistress of your life but it's all about looking good smelling good feeling good presenting yourself in a way that's very stable you don't need anybody you want someone you want to have the beautiful experience of this happy joyful connection and you have all the tools that you need this virgo energy has made it you know created an energy in your life uh, that allows you to love for the pure purpose of loving Cancerian energy again along with Pisces overlay you're very intuitive you're very you're a healer very much Cancer you're usually off healing everybody else but what we see is that you've all, you've also done great healing work for yourself in in regards to relationship Eight of Cups, there was someone who either walked out of your life or you walked out of theirs to find your happiness, to find your joy. It's a search. It's usually the meaning of it is leaving because the circumstances you're in are not fulfilling. But it is a journey, and sometimes we find that when we take that move away from someone, that it's actually not the right thing to do. But at the time, we think it is. We see this energy of balancing your life out right now. You really do know your value because 
to be in this beautiful nine of cups energy nine of pentacles energy i should say um isn't that funny though the nine of pentacles will lead you to the nine of cups which comes after this period of time which is happy happy but the key to your success in finding your love is to stay balanced, to be in Libra energy. You want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So if somebody walked away from you, it appears that there was a lack of truth. They were walking away from the truth. They were walking away from uh, more of a, a spiritual element uh, that you have in the way you conduct your love life. We have a very sharp energy here of someone who wants to speak to cancer either you want to say something very very serious to someone else you would like to talk to them but i see someone returning hopping on that motorcycle red shoes they feel like they're on fire to tell you something oftentimes i also as a person who traveled extensively worldwide for a job this card always appeared in a reading uh, for my co-workers because we would leave home but we would return but home was a very beautiful place but it wasn't always fulfilling because we were sort of adventurous people so the eight of cups does not need, mean forever okay so it means also oftentimes you leave home you return home because home is where the heart is so all this cancerian pisces neptunian energy is what you're feeling right now Aquarius energy, a new beginning. Look at that, Aquarius, Aquarius. Enlightenment, taking the leap of faith, having the courage to start anew, to start something fresh, something joyful, something that makes you laugh and brings you happiness. Let's look and see what the clarifiers are for this reading. We have the Five of Cups coming into the reading. This card just fell out. The World card says that there was a cycle that was closed. Somebody owes you an apology, most likely. I feel as though they may have ghosted you with the hermit card. It may have been very abrupt. It does exhibit the, the player energy here. Somebody who's very fast moving. Knights are fast moving and they don't stay. But somebody wants to tell you something. So we're going to clarify the Knight of Wands card. What happened in this energy for you, Cancer? because this is going to affect and impact the way you move forward in your life and the way you've healed the heart of wands okay so you were the queen of wands your person saw you as exceedingly sexy and powerful the consummate businesswoman the the consummate success story but you have moved forward at this time you've moved forward in this beautiful healing energy by letting go of the burdens of what this person did with their in and out energy you're not accepting that at this point you want somebody who's stable you want somebody who takes action this is aries energy this is a queen of aries the and this is aries energy also the two of coins speaks volumes to the fact that you are possibly dating or talking to two people currently two people that you value but it also is the card that speaks to the fact that you may have been juggled and you may have been in a third party situation but as a new love reading this also means that right now you're not willing to settle down that your exploration and love is requiring you to probably be on a dating site but also the fact that you're juggling people people are juggling you you're dating more than one person and more than you know and the the people you're dating are dating more than you the heartbreak, though, does look like it's centered around somebody who um, really left you very abruptly and unexpectedly. The Cancerian Queen, what do we have here? We have victory, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So you're going to have a victory in love. And all the, the pains of the past that you've healed are allowing you to step forward. Right now, you're keeping your own counsel. You're looking for that inner wisdom, that inner light. We see you in this Virgo energy, very down to earth, very practical. You may be attracting a Virgo. You may be also attracting, you know, when you're dating, especially on a dating site. I still think you have to watch out 
out for these very fast moving, uh, unstable in and out energies. You look like you're very grounded. I like Virgo energy for your reading. Chariot card, you are about to break free in love. That is, honey, I'm home. After a lot of difficult challenges, you are victorious in love. You are headed straight to the place. Oh my gosh, the twin flame card. Okay, soulmate twin flame. I'm using the Naked Heart Tarot, and it's the only tarot deck that I own that has a number 22 with a heart. There is transformation here. There is alignment. You may come back into, or you may be, you may come into divine union with a twin flame. So there is a lot of healing. So why do we have the, tell us why the star card is here. The star card is one of the most beautiful, incredible, best, best cards for love in the entire tarot deck. Six of Cups, somebody from the past returns, Scorpio energy, that which you thought is dead is still alive. It's the little bud that comes back and pushes through at springtime. This was somebody who walked away from you. This is somebody that you may, you know, have very ambivalent feelings about. It was somebody who did not treat you right. Seven of Swords, it appears that they didn't tell you the truth, the whole truth. It looks as though your person was sneaky deaky. They left you out in the cold. You've healed from it at this point. You've mastered your emotions. High Priestess Energy now. We have this twice. Somebody who played mind games also with you. So... You have to really assess for yourself, Cancer, whether this person is worthy of your energy. But, you know, that's up to you. We each choose our own destiny at, at the end of the day. We each have a life path and we walk it. We make our choices. All right. The Ten of Swords, a final ending here. What I'm seeing is that you're very wise at this time. That... The Ten of Swords represents that you may not let this person back in. I think it's highly doubtful that you would let them back in. The Ten of Swords is all about the fact that, you know, they they stabbed you in the back, that you were laid out for probably 10 months at least, trying to heal from them not telling you the truth. You know, the Ace of Swords is seeking the truth, seeking answers, you know, going round and round. How could they have done this to you? But you are this beautiful Nine of Pentacles. So that is quite a journey, Cancer. My heart goes out to you. Look, <laughs> I love when this happens. The Nine of Coins is clarified by the Nine of Coins. You are, you're doubling down on your desirability out there in the world, whether you know it or not. Nine of Cups, the happiest card. That's a fairy godmother card, actually. It's a cyclical reward of happiness, joyfulness, community. You may find your new love with the Pisces. It may also be um, among people that you know in a group. You might meet somebody at a party or in a large group setting. If you go to a wedding, that would be a classic example of how you might meet your next lover. I don't see you rushing in though. The Eight of Wands reverse says that you are not going to rush anything that you are going to keep your own counsel with that High Priestess card, that I really get that you're going to be careful. You're not going to give someone your passion, your um, your inner self, your inner being. I see that you're going to wait until they've chosen you. So isn't this beautiful because we also have it here. Three of Wands, Three of Wands. You will make a commitment when someone shows that they are in it to win it, that when it shows that you are in this energy with somebody who feels the same way. You want someone who's looking for their person. You are not interested in someone who's going to run in and out and create a lot of turmoil in your life. Why are you in this very healing energy of the queen, excuse me, the um, high priestess? We have the four of cups. The Four of Cups is the energy of spirit making an offer in love and you're not sure whether you want to take it. What I'm seeing here for many of you is that this person's going to rush back in, the one who really just really raised hell with you. I'm just going to say it. 
they just absolutely took you in a period of time in which you just didn't understand. They stonewalled you since then. And we see you in this energy of traditional relationship beliefs. So what we see now in this energy for you, oh, the justice card, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing, but the truth is going to come out, whether you get it from this person directly or indirectly. We also see you, these cards are flipping out everywhere. We also see you in this energy of leaving heartache behind. That's how I'm reading this. You're going to a happy place. You're going to a place of balance, of a new beginning, where you demand that people rush in, that you demand that they tell you the truth, the whole truth. We see the Three of Cups card, the person that you're going to become uh, enamored with, uh, have a relationship with, appears to be someone who may be a friend now, um, but we also see celebration. Again, this is like the bridesmaids at the wedding. So I would encourage you to go to all the weddings <laughs> at this time that you're invited to. It's all. It can be a party. It can be someone you meet through friends. And it is someone who's coming in with Virgo energy, strong Virgo energy here. This is someone who has created their own wealth, a self-made person who is now looking to create legacy with their partner. They want someone who's grounded and pure and true. And as you recall, we have had the nine of coins twice now. And so you're going from single to committed relationship. Cancer, that's your happy, happy after a period of time of just feeling like you had no, no ending and no beginning. The justice card is a marriage license. It can be a prenuptial agreement, but it's always truth. It's always discretion. It's always making sure that the facts of the situation are right before you sign on the dotted line or make a commitment. You will be faced with a choice between two people, a crossroads, if you will, and the heart of cups, queen of cups. There you are, Cancer, once again in your reading. So let's see what we have here. Is this, yes, I think the Queen of Cups. Yes. So you've appeared in your reading twice. I love it. You are very much in this energy. You've done the work. You've gone the distance. You are attracting someone who can nurture and love you as deeply as you love them. Why do we have the energy the Gemini energy of someone wanting to come in and talk to you. Ooh, the devil card. Okay, that tells me that it's unlikely that you will get the truth from a person with whom uh, has hurt you, uh, somebody who with whom you had invested a great deal, someone with whom you probably worked with, the tower moment, there we go. A really big indicator that this per per person pulled the rug out from underneath you and uh, really created a moment of truth that you, you know, you can't deny. The tower is a gift, whether we view it as that or not. It's a gift because this person, if I'm reading this writer for whom it resonates, it'll be different for everyone, was very dishonest according to what I'm seeing for those it resonates. And they were very hurtful and you didn't deserve it. And so when they pulled out that tower, they set the tower on fire. It is a gift from the universe to allow you the freedom to enter a relationship, which you are now entering in which somebody gives to the relationship, somebody who's equal minded, somebody who's generous of spirit. And here we now have, the, oh, look at this. The king, queen of cups, the king of cups. You may be dealing again with a Scorpio energy. And remember we saw the queen of cups here. And we saw at the bottom of the deck, the King of Cups. That is not an accident. We can't make this up, Cancer. This is an incredibly interesting reading. I don't like the fact that you've gone through so much in recent times that it just hurts my heart. But look at that. New love is coming about. It looks like it's likely to happen certainly within six months, but it could literally be tomorrow. We have this energy for you of enlightenment, being willing to take the leap of faith. And again, we have the star card. 
So you may be involved with somebody who is a rock star in their own right, either metaphorically speaking or spiritually. But look at we've had the star card here for you. So you've done the work. You are the champion of healers. You are in the energy of divine blessings of this beautiful union with a person who could be a twin flame. I have to say that I want to really say something about twin flame journeys. It's important to remember that toxic relationships are not what twin flame journeys are about. You're not supposed to stay in a situation where you feel abused, abandoned, and ruined. You're just not supposed to be there. Spirit will, with the eclipse energy, and this is what eclipses are about, I highly recommend you look at the eclipse um, reading that I did for this Taurus eclipse on the Scorpio axis. Yesterday is was the eclipse when you're looking at this, but Spirit will sweep people who are not worthy of you out of your life. And though it feels devastating, it is for your higher good. It's so that you can find true love. You can find your person. You do find your independence. You can find your balance and in a way that really allows you to fulfill your true dreams and your higher good. So let's see what we have here in the Seven Energies Oracle for this reading for you, Cancer. Ears wide open. Well, your ears are perked up. You will never again let something that someone says go without paying attention. If they give you red flags in love, you are going to let it go. You are very harmonious. You are very healed. The green thumb that you have has been taken and used for your own heart space. Cancer, it looks like you are on the precipice of a stunning new love or the healing and after period of a lover that has also done the work. So the key ingredient here for those who are looking at a, re -begin a new beginning with an old love is did they do the work or are they still in toxic energy is going to be the key to whether you will you know, continue to go round and round or choose to step outside among the many people, the many suitors who are here for you. So I'm sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. And thank you so much. Hope to see you soon again. Cancer, bye-bye.